Hi, I'm Mariana with GH Stitch Club, and today I'm gonna to be answering all your beginner questions that you guys wrote in about when you're first starting these projects. It's natural to have a bunch of questions, and hopefully I can answer some of those for you today. Some of you asked, what is the difference between a ball, a skein, and a hank? And basically, a ball of yarn, looks like a ball of yarn, and a skein is more uh, elongated. Um, both of these, you'll pull the yarn out through the middle. Um, and these are the ones that you'll find most typically at your local yarn or craft store. A hank is a little bit different. It's twisted. So before you knit with a hank, you do have to untwist your yarn. And that's, you know, you'll see in the old movies when they're holding the yarn between hands and they're wrapping it into a ball. You can't knit from straight from a hank. It'll get tangled and be a complete mess. So you're gonna need a friend or the back of a chair to, to stretch your hank around and then you wind it into a ball. You can do that by hand or there are, um, there are winders that you can purchase. Another thing you might be wondering, what sort of yarn should I be using for this project? So every pattern comes with a suggested yarn to use, so a yarn weight that will be most ideal for your project. You can kind of use a slightly heavier yarn, um, a really heavy yarn if you want your project to go by really fast. This, this knit sort of project knits up really quickly. Um, and a finer yarn will take a bit longer to knit. Uh, if you're thinking about, you know, acrylic versus wool versus blends, um, mohair alpaca, uh, I like to think about who is this project for? If it's for a baby, I definitely want a yarn that you can wash um, and that's really soft. Uh, for myself, I don't mind using a yarn that might require hand washing, but those are all definitely things to think about when you're picking your yarn. And nothing beats picking your yarn in person and being able to feel it and, and get a sense of how that's going to work out for you, be it a hat or a sweater or something for your home. Some of you asked about ways to embellish your scarf or hat, and a great way is to make a pom-pom or a tassel, and there's a bunch of different ways that you can make these, but the simplest way is just to use cardboard. So to make a tassel, all you need is a piece of cardboard cut into a, a rectangle and vaguely about the size that you want your tassel, the length. So you'll take your cardboard and just start wrapping your yarn around the tall way. And you'll wrap until you have about the thickness you are looking for for your tassel. So I want this a little bit thick, so I'm gonna keep going a little bit. So then once you have your cardboard wrapped as much as you would like, You'll just cut the end and then cut a length of your yarn here. You'll feed it underneath your wrapped yarn and then just slide it to the top. Give it a tie. I'm gonna tie it fairly tight so it doesn't come unraveled. Okay, so the top is tied, and then we'll just cut the bottom threads. You won't be able to cut through all layers at once. So now we have our ends cut. You can remove the cardboard. Then we'll take another piece of yarn. and we'll wrap it around our tassel about an inch, inch and a half down. And I like to wrap it a couple times. But this is something that you can play around with to see how big you want your tassel to be, how long, and then give it a tie. Nice tight tie here.
And then at this point, you can trim your ends here. And there you have your tassel. And here's a little trick you can use to make your tassel a little bit fluffier. Um, pick up one of these cat hair brushes and you'll just brush your yarn out. Make sure to hold it tight so it doesn't become unraveled. And you'll just give your tassel a little brush and it will really fluff up the fibers. And this is something you can play with depending on the yarn you're using. Um, the results will be slightly different. This is a roving yarn, um, so it has a lot of loft to it. Your acrylic ones won't, won't puff up quite as much as this, but you can brush it, see how much hair we get. Um, and then you can trim it again to make that bottom edge really clean, if that's the look you're going for. And there's our puffed up tassel. There's also a way to make a pom-pom with a piece of cardboard. First, you're gonna cut it into this sort of U-shaped pattern. Then you'll just take your yarn and start wrapping it around this gap. So I've wrapped my yarn around my form. You can see it bent in a little bit here, but that's okay. You'll cut your yarn and then cut a length of yarn to tie your pom-pom. And you'll just feed your yarn in between the U and the U-shape hole here. And feed it through here. Okay. Turn it over and tie it. And you want to tie it pretty tightly. I like to wrap it around and maybe tie it one more time. Once it's tied, you'll cut the yarn around, along the edges. And then slide your pom-pom off and you can fluff it up and now you've got a really fun little pom-pom and you can just make it with cardboard you can play around with the size of the cardboard shape and if you want to shape it a little bit more you just take your scissors and give it a little haircut <laughs> the more you cut off the more dense your pom-pom will be. Also be sure to check out our other knitting videos on the Good Housekeeping YouTube channel. We have a bunch of knitting and crochet videos that show you tips, tricks, and different projects to try. Thanks for watching and check out our other GH Stitch Clubs for more projects and tips and tricks.